Unplayable. Sunny Larine. Only one man, double figures. JP Dermany. The big six off the last ball he faced. He's the key for them tonight. Look at Spore Fucker, Sahail, Nassi Shah, Urshad. His first ball in Pakistan Super League. Were you impressed, Danny? Here's the wicket's first one down, and this one was on, but it was mishit. Again, uh, not out of the middle. So Hale jumping for joy, and a classic little outside edge. The slinger found another slinger, this time in Pakistan. The yeah, eye's got aggressive bowlers. And he's got an aggressive strategy. We're talking about Brendan McCullum, so if they click, whenever they click, there'll be a handful for any opposition. It's yeah, just the dismissal of Farhan as well, off Sahai. Just have a long on in place. You know, that's a unique position in the power play. Normally it's backwards square leg or fine leg and third man. So he'd obviously thought about that, Brendan McCullum, and it worked. Even though he played a good shot, he was out. Looking forward to this over here. Oh, shot. What a shot. Bounced on it immediately. Yeah, that's a very good shot. What a Calypso indeed. Asi Bali. Little hip. Oh, yes. Little flick and away she goes. A bit quick, not happy though. Just a little bit short line angling in. Get it back onto off stump. That's gone up in the air. Chance. We've seen some great catches. Oh, that's down. There's a little bit of confusion. There was confusion between the two fielders there and Brendan McCullum. They just stopped in his stride, thinking that Suelakta will come and tidy up. But it didn't happen. There you see him just abandoning the thought of a catch. We know that Brendan is a great tryer. I like the man. I like the fielder coming in, taking the catch. It's so much easier. It's, it's tough for McCullum going back against the fly of the ball. I was in uh, Candy in a Sri Lanka versus Australia test when Stephen War and Jason Gillespie collided. Steve War broken nose. Jason Gillespie broken leg. Don't like seeing that. Talking of aggressive spinners, Sunil Narayan and Yasser Shah together. Six overs, one for 21. What a spell of bowling from Sunil and Yasser Shah. One leg spinner who bowls a lovely googly. Then you've got Sunil Narayan who can bamboozle the opposition with both leg and off spin. King shot. Oh, slip. But he defends well. Yeah. A little confirmation of the Sahel actor there. The boundary there. Greasiness across the outfield. It sounded great off the blade. They were always concerned the umpires about that sort of behaviour out in the deep or anywhere on the outfield for that matter. No damage done. close to the sums that's gone and will hit the fence he's swinging hard Asif just trying to regain a bit of lost ground here Islamabad United by hitting their way through funny how momentum can change 12 off the over already there is a thought that you double it after 12 overs so 52 104 but I reckon they can look at 8 and over now with 6 wickets in hand Dre Rust still to come in. Good intent in this over. No doubt uh, Spin's still going to play a big part in this game though. I think 120 could be a good score here. This pitch will spin further. Will not allow easy shots to be played off the surface. It's a, it's a drying pitch this. 
It's been a lot of rain, chance of a direct hit. He was in. Oh, extra run? No, not to be. 64 for 4 after 13. And just look at this pitch map here. I think there is uh, a tail. If you bowl uh, in that hallway of hesitation, stump to stump, you get a lot of dot balls. As soon as you see a bit of width, there was a couple of cut shots. There's that six over cover, which is an amazing shot of Yassir Shah, and then obviously a pull shot when it was short outside leg stump. So stump to stump to Dumini, test him. That's a very good shot. The placement was excellent. The fielder in the deep, I think, probably lost the ball in the backdrop. He's clearing the uh, the action from the deep fielder. Sweet sound again off the blade. The weight and weight. It's very full. Got a beautifully square. Yeah, thoughts for the bowler. But so nicely timed. Oh, yes, sir. Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Talking about bowling straight, there's a result for you. Wicket to wicket. And runner forward is absolutely happy. That was and a handy little, on a roll here. Yeah. Handy little cameo for Nassif there, but when missed the ball, when it's stump to stump, the zinc bars are going to be flying. So, yes, he sure. might have been a bit of a top here. Just went out the front of the hand. Oh, what's that, Danny? That is a big boom. Even though the boom boom wasn't playing last night. Hassi Valley gone for 16 and 69 for 5. Sixty-nine for the loss of five. Wickets falling. It's Andre Russell who's walked in, marking his crease. He hits them big. Strike rate of one eighteen. Brilliant against pace. Not so brilliant against spin. But Yasser Shah, they're having the last laugh. That ball skidded through. Didn't spin. At times, you don't have to spin the ball a yard to pick up a wicket. One will do the trick for you. Yeah, the skid's the key. Absolutely. Deceived. Asif Ali, super coach not happy with the shake of the head, but now we've got Andre Russell, what can he do because he is so dynamic, so explosive with bat in hand and they need him here Do United. Well he's got a point to prove as well, he was dropped for the last game so he'll want to show that he's one of the main men going forward for Islamabad United but he does have a bit of trouble against spin he's been dismissed five times in the Pakistan Super League in just 34 balls strike rate of just 79 against spin slip in place don't know if I like that silly mid-on position <laughs> yeah he's more shoulders than wrists so you've got to be good with your wrist work to be good against spin but we know his his value is a late or a batsman take the game away from you Yasser Shah what a spell of bowling two for 19 3.4 overs that's why leg spinners are so good to watch they make it happen so many varieties Yasser Shah has been a big success at the test match level oh that's close that is close hitting the stumps it looked out JP Domini will walk back to the dugout yeah it's a good one you've got to admit that it was hitting the stumps yeah look good even from up here in the com box first time real time and Dumini I think he knows he just straightens enough oh it does 
It's a beauty. I reckon it's probably going on at Midland League inside a leg stump. Yeah. Coloured Mamu says, I'm sorry, JP. Time to go back for a shower. And he's gone for 34 from 36. It's now 70 for 6. Be a good score. Let's not forget that Kalandas have got this, this self-belief to implode. Uh, and so I think it'll make an interesting game if they get to 120. It's a difficult pitch to bat on. All right, Brendan McCullum on the attack. Short leg and a leg slip. In place for Hussain Talat who works it. Down the line, down the pitch for a run. So his spell comes to an end. Four overs, three for 20, 71 for six. And one of the matches, 48 not out, won the man of the match award with award. Or a deal with the varieties of Sunil Narayan. I think when in doubt, play the sweep shot. It's not a bad bet on a on a pitch like this. Take the spin out, can't it? And we just saw Dermody hit Yes, he's sharp for a six in the previous over, and you could just see he was going to bowl that tight line. And then just getting a little bit of spin, bringing forward, and the leadership group of Islamabad United. A wild runner there. He's amongst his fans. Loving every moment of this onslaught from his bowlers. Andre Russell versus Sunil Narayan. This could be extremely engaging. High strike rate in T20s. Andre Russell, second highest, by the way. 164. Gotcha. Oh, that's gone up in the air. And it falls safely. Would you believe it? No one at mid wicket. Yeah, I believe he's been working on that shot. Just hitting the, the edge of the bat and chipping it for two, Danny. Hours and hours of practice. She had 12 months to work on it. Oh, oh, it, it came naturally to Danny, by the way. Didn't have to practice for it. Well, Danny was known to use his helmet in an attacking <laughs> fashion as well. Always shiny, though. Is it true you used to oil your helmet before you went out to bat? Absolutely. Sponsored by Brill Cream back in the day. It's a beauty. It really is sensational stuff from Sunil Narayan. Give him a pitch like this and he'll make that ball talk. I think he said it before, Ramey. So I reckon if in doubt, just slog sweep and sweep because it, it can take the spin out. That's a good collection by the keeper. Yeah, he's loving it as well. Brendan McCullum finally thinks falling in place for Kalandas. Right, one more ball to see off. Oh, and beats him all ends up. Lovely to see. It's great viewing this. 73 for the loss of six. And maybe they need a bit of a rest in the shape of a go loot low strategic timeout. The go loot plus strategic timeout signal. Yeah, let's play. Islamabad need to for the last five overs. They've been spun into a web. Here's Mustafa Zur. Boing. I told if he gets going, Andre Russell it is one of the hard hat areas. Head and shoulders there move for a million. Look at look at these. And we're seeing a lot of that. They get very enthusiastic, don't they? Oh, we saw that graphic with the strike rate. And he's right up there with all the T20s he's playing. And just goes without saying, he needs to get going. His final five overs, it needs to be a big scoring event for them. They need minimum eight runs and over if they can to get over that 100 mark, 112 from here. They need all of those.
it's a it's a spinner's night isn't it it's amazing that little bit of moisture has changed the color of the pitch and the ball is gripping all of a sudden instead of skidding and that's what we've seen for the last two days it's like being tacky isn't it just tacky the ball and coming off the surface it's a good it's a good batting lineup when you've got someone like Hussein Talat coming in at eight and yet Islamabad find themselves 75 for six three for 20 for Yasser Shah the sticky nature of the pitch got a lot of turn once he got it up there he got the ball to fifth was doing a lot of problems that one down the ground no timing on it and then one that slides on and then the leg spinner so all three he's gone big here and he's gone very big that is just huge arm speed and muscle and everything else yeah and often you just need to get that first one away you get that first big one away it gives you a feel of I'm um, in some sort of neck comes nicely out of the middle he's gone once again as we talk on this pitch and this ground he's gone to the right area of the ground which is down the ground seriously if that had been a boxer's punch it would have knocked the opponent out wouldn't it it really would have well bold you're talking about uh, Yasser Shah just then Buzzard, Narain and Yasser Shah, the two of them, eight overs, three for 30. Yasser, six and a four off his bowling, but Narain, four overs, none for 10. And between them, just those two boundaries, the six and the four, no boundary off this man's bowling, four overs, none for 10. He turned the ball square, 27 dot balls between them. Incredible. basically you need pace off the ball and hit that wicket because it's sticking it's a sticky wicket quite a few reactions because of that spin from the spin twin yeah and I think McCullum would like another spinner There's someone else who can bowl in a couple of overs for Karachi Kings what about this one boom over mid off heading towards extra he opens himself up to get that full swing away and when he does that he's got immense power stable base and just swings through Sohail Khan oh now then now then now then over the stand it goes into the streets behind the ground <laughs> well that graphic of how far these sixes are going he's seen it and he wants to be at the top of the list that is massive on the roof probably over the roof massive he's broken the 90 barrier has he broken the 100 barrier pace on the ball and pace off the bat almost gone out of the ground and into the petrol pump behind the ground does it take diesel high octane 98 95 probably high octane the pace at which it went it's a lot kids we saw the ball come off uh, Russell's bat at 153k. I like that stat. How fast does it get to the crowd? Yeah, so listen, there's, there's a, a little bit of something now because there's some pace on the ball these batsmen can use and that's a different different ball game now the batsman can use it change of pace from Sohel Khan he does have a deceptive change of pace you don't see it too much in his action Boad Rana he's, uh, he's seen his team play three and lose three that's almost like an off cutters action isn't it you don't really pick it up 
Yeah, with length bowling and pace on it, it becomes easier. And for Lahore's sake, Russ, if yeah, Hoga South Pakistan is initiated for a clean, cleaner and greener Pakistan. But for Lahore's sake, they don't want Andre Russell to go off here. Because that'll take the match away from him straight away. Three overs of him, and who knows? Oh, get, oh, get out of the way of it. Hang on, <laughs> they're appealing here. Umar Akmal, well, they're asking for it, but has it gone straight onto the foot of Sohel Khan and into the hands of Umar Akmal? Yeah, I'm not sure it went to on the full to the bowler's boot. I'm not too sure anyway. We're going to check. It went so quickly, it's probably come off at 145k an hour off that bat. So uh, it's gone from the boot on the full to mid off, and I'm surprised the boot didn't go with the ball. Yeah, if it's it straight onto the boot, it's got to hurt. And I'm surprised that Sohel Khan isn't limping like Darren Sammy. Well, it's been a soft single out. So the signal has gone upstairs. They think it's out. It's definitely not a no ball. So it's bounced. Yorked into his toe. Look at the mark after it hits. There we go. No doubting that. Very close though. What about it? That is a dismissal. It's going to be not out and a couple of bruised toes. Well, it saved a broken toe. Hits that toe on the full. It's a different ball game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely it is. Uh, Andre Russell is hitting this ball. It's a wonder that Sale Khan's not going to limp in here for his next delivery. Here he goes. Limp, 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 limp. Tempting for uh, Russell. Tempting. Yeah, that's a better option, bowling short, because he doesn't want him to hit it back at him again. Absolutely smashed back and yorked him. Yeah, look at Ramdin. Dinesh Ramdin signalling there that it wasn't a catch. Yeah, Ramdin saw it. Good change of pace again. Direct hit could be in trouble. Well, he's been ducking for cover. That six that went down the ground, he was gun shy. If uh, you see the reaction from the other angle, you'll see a, a facial expression of closing the eyes, and he's actually ducking for cover. And there's a real problem in this form of the game. You watch his face here as it, he, he, he gets up, and then this is the next one that hits him on the toe. So talk about gun shy running in. I was going to say, T20 cricket with the ball coming back so quickly. Bowler in follow through can be in trouble and umpires. To bowlers with helmets next. Oh, is that a wide? There, that's that. That's a wide. You can see what uh, Sir Hel Khan's trying to do here. He doesn't want to give Russell anything he can hit, and he doesn't want to give him anything that can hit straight back at him. So he's bowling short. He's got a deep square in, deep fine leg and deep mid wicket. So lots of people on the leg side. So he wants the short delivery and Russell it into the leg. Now square legs coming in. He's talking about the ball coming back. A Kiwi, Warren Barnes, actually wore his face mask. So just trialing something and umpires have had some protection on as well. Helmet and there's an arm guard they can wear. Oh dear, reload. Now that's two extra balls. Right, it's been 23 balls since we've had a four hit and six since we've had a six. And this is an extra ball. It wasn't a bad option out of the back of the hand, so the idea was right. It was just execution. The radar was wrong. 
Colonels do have to be careful. They have a habit of getting in front of the game and then fizzling out. These last three overs very important, crucial for them as a team. They need that confidence to close this innings out and then bat well. It's just inside those lines. End of the over. Russell misses out. 96. Vizur. How good a hit is this? It's another six. It brings up the hundred for Islamabad. Just giving him the length. And he has a really sweet swing off the bat. We've seen it hit through the offside, but this time he just stayed with the shot on the leg side. He does hit it well and does put a lot into it. Maximum. Gone for a few here now. Uh, the Fizz, Mr. Fizzur, has gone for 24 in his 13 deliveries, 2.1. But I think McCullum will be oh, well bowled. That's a good repass from the bowler to get that ball into the Yorker area. I think McCullum will be happy with where he's got his Lamabad right here. It, it just got to manage Russell. If Russell is set free, it could ruin all his best laid plans. Correct, and Islamabad will be looking at 130 right now. 103 for six. Two overs and four deliveries left. Russell with a few lusty hits, big hits, and they'll be there. No, they're not going to go back for the second. Yeah, I mean, the good thing they know is they're not chasing a massive total. Uh, nine runs and over from here, 126 be less could be a few more than that if these two keep launching but they're not going to be chasing a massive massive tail there's been a lot of damage done in the field but as you say Baz they get themselves into these really good positions and then they falter but I'd say United have done that so far in the tournament as well he's hit that high up the bat and uh, Fizur went at him, kept following him because you could see Hussein pulling away, trying to give him some room, himself some room. And just as a whole, for the tournament, it's very important for Lahore, Lahore to win. Because they haven't won any game, just puts another team in the mix. Also the fact that they have a massive following, biggest cricket following, second biggest city in Pakistan, so they need to win. Well bowled again. It's the kind of delivery that cracks a bat right at the bottom of the bat. So we've had 29 deliveries bowled since the last boundary. The last four was hit. And you know you, you, you've got a, your conversion rate for boundaries has got to be higher than that for Islamabad. Gateway, gateway, gateway. .pk in Pakistan, .com around the world. There we are, you know where it is. And again, it's uh, a miss hit. 107 for six. It scores right there, Dumini 34. This partnership now worth 37 from 25. It's got a chance of giving some respectability to this Islamabad total. Wonderful bowling from Yasser, 3 for 20. Narayan, none for 10. Amazing. Eight overs, none for 30 between those two. Right, two overs to go. Now that is a proper moustache. That is a beard of moustache. That's a beauty. Love it. Kill them out. Oh, problem, problem. Both batsmen at the same end. And Andre Russell's running off. Oh, that is a real mix-up. Kalundas will celebrate, and Andre Russell is furious. Well, he is, he's absolutely fuming and very animated as well. You can't believe that there was no reaction from his partner at the time. And he turns around, and the seventh wicket goes down, 107 runs on the board.
Oh, it's a great stop in the end. Soil Akta, I think he was wrong footed just, and that ball might have taken a, a deviation here. Oh, and he skidded, didn't he? Yeah, that's what the umpires were afraid of, the outfield. Well, in the end, how well did he do? I'd argue if he'd come in, there might have been a chance of a catch, but he's done so well, and there's a big mix up there. And that's the run out the ball before all the time in the world, and they both caught at the one end. At the end. <laughs> Well, there's a different reaction to Russell. <laughs> Tonight's his night, maybe. Pace. And it's uh, a legal delivery as well. One for the over. Yeah, Tullet had to go, Sam Tullet. Finding over, Spielers hanging back on the circle. And there you go. He said tonight's the night. Well, he's waited a long time for this. Maybe it is. Yeah, I had a chat after we commentated down there. I said, tonight may be a night. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> but he's full of beans. Great bowling. This is uh, such a good over. Sahail. He's been expensive at times. Economy rate of 5.45. But this over, wicket. One dot dot and a brilliant slow ball even the slow one gets a little bit of purchase but for Lahore fans the Lahore average is 11.18 against spin this season and this week it is getting spin so maybe 108 will be a struggle as well again that could be a wide yes it is yes it is Sohel Khan is just delivering a, a, a mixture here of slower deliveries with different release, different grips. Yeah, just take the pace off it. It's so difficult. Look for maybe another change up. He's gone again this time. Actually, the way it comes out of the back of the hand, it can be like a leggy or a leg cutter, and it did move away from the legs. That's why it was called a wide. So, two balls remaining, all important. Just two from this over. We've had the wicket, we've had the single, and we've had a wide. So, two balls to go. Fine leg is up inside the circle. There is a third man. Hit hard, long off. Out. It's another catch for Narine. He's always in the hot spot. And Sohail Khan is putting pressure on with his slower deliveries and he induces the mistake. They picked out the man with perfection. He did really well. Just went flat and straight to the man. Either side of that would have been four. He'd got elevation on that and it would have been out of the ground. But as it is, Fahim Ashra walks back without scoring. 109 for 8. He'll be key when he's got the ball in his hands. Now this pitch is turning extravagantly. Oh, the coach is having a few words there with the uh, fourth umpire. Now, is that going to go all the way? No, it's not. Heck of a good over, four from it, one to go. It's one, one, one for eight. Win for the Columbus. It'll be their first in four matches. They played three and lost three. <coughs> Winviz prediction has got Columbus 82% chance of winning this. Last over. York to start. Bump ball. Direct hit, I think, might have been another wicket. Yeah, definitely. Would have been out. I don't know that it was far away. Coach animated. Doesn't mean much to ride home about. Well, there's been a lot of riding, a lot of strategy, <laughs> trying to turn things around. There's been a lot of chats, I'm sure, trying to increase intensity and get a win on the board. Gone by a metre. Not far away. This is Sharp. Shut up, Khan. He can bat as well. 
trying to look for the Yorker here. Shalab wants to come back for the second he is. He's going to take on the throw from the Ryan and makes it. Yeah, Alan, it's been a very strange sort of innings. The bat very, very deep. Even Mohammed Sami has a lot of six first class 50s. So there's a lot of batting, but it's just not taken off. 114 and four balls to go. Difficult going. Just to get bat on this and can't stop it for four. Yes, it's sure. Yeah, it wasn't a good delivery. Low full toss, leg stump, deserved to get the punishment. Does so that's a bonus. 118 now, three balls remaining. Remember the game last night, 141 wasn't enough. The pitch conditions are a little different, a different pitch, but because of the moisture today, it's a bit sticky probably still feels pretty hard on the foot but it's it's got some stickiness to it therefore the spinners are much more in the game Ooh, it's hit him He's, has he got a little bit of bat on this but I think he's, keep an eye on the umpire here he's given the run and that's actually hit Hussein Talat on its way through and the shoulder as well. Yeah, it's hurt him. There's two noises. So there's a top edge smashing into the shoulder. Right up near the top of the shoulder. Into the joint there. Rotator cuff. And that hurt. And he was hanging onto it for a while. Still moving it around. Two balls to go. This over's just gone for eight. Remember the last over, the 19th, and he went for four. Straight back, man, there is Umar Akmal. And he takes it with a juggle. And for my next trick, I present you forward runner. That was the clown act, wasn't it? Juggle, juggle, juggle. Brilliant. It almost was over the boundary rope there at one stage. Slow ball to perfection. And in the end, we'll say catch. Not to perfection. But now it might be, and very entertaining indeed. Yeah. It's 119 for nine. Last ball of the innings. Has he caught this? Two men underneath it. Who wants it? I think that's Yasser Shah. Is it underneath that ball? Yes, it is. But it's two runs off the last ball of the innings. And Islamabad stutter their way to 121 for nine. Innings closed. The last five overs contributing 48 runs. Yasser said he lost it. And the innings finishes Islamabad 121 for nine. The point of view from them. Let's go down to Zainab. Three wickets for Yasser Shah. Yasser, your uh, celebration is very good. Before you tell me, what is behind his back? एक ही बस कोशिश कर रहा हूँ अच्छी बॉलिंग हो रही है जब आउट करता हूँ तो मैंने कहा कि न्यू सेलिब्रेशन करूँगा यहाँ पीएसएल में तो वही अपने कोशिश कर रहा हूँ इसपे जब आउट करता हूँ तो अपनी न्यू सेलिब्रेशन करता हूँ कलंदर वाली करके दिखा दे थोड़ा मुश्किल है थोड़ा सा विकेट लेने के बाद ही होता है नहीं क्यों जो उसी वक्त होता है अच्छा ये बताएं आज पिच वगैरह जो है काफी हेल्पफुल थी क्या कहेंगे उसे ये कि ये कि खुशकिस्मत ही हमारी है कि हम टॉस जीत के और पहले बॉलिंग की है तो ये कि ब्रेक भी मिल रहा था सपोर्ट कर रहा था स्पिनर्स को भी कि � Inshallah, because we have planned it and we have been talking about our team and we have been doing a lot of work on the net and we have been doing a lot of work on the net and we have been doing a lot of work on the net so Inshallah, it will not be so difficult to target it.
ये बताएं कि सलमान इरशाद ने आते साथ विकेट ली उसके बारे में क्या कहेंगे देखिए अच्छी बात है कि यंगस्टर है और कश्मीर से है और बहुत क्योंकि डेब्यू मैच और पहले बॉल पर उसने विकेट लिए तो आई रियली अप्रिशिएट हम चले थैंक यू सो मच यासर ऑल द बेस्ट एंड अपनी सेलिब्रेशन एंजॉय करें थैंक यू Well he had three celebrations and he bowled beautifully but uh, a rather strange looking scorecard that JP Dumini 34 Asif 16 Andre Russell 15 and Hussein Talat 33 not out the bat at 8 which was strange because he normally bats 6 but it's all about the spin fucker got one wicket Yasser got three and then Narayan four overs just for 10 it was spin to win Yeah, eight overs, three for thirty between Narayan and Yasser. Brilliant it was. So Kalunders, they will feel they've done the job with the ball. They've now to go to get 122 to win this match. The run rate will start at 6.1.